they have the resources, why don't they invest it the directly and the, let the developed countries do their, their the thing is, in the, their the thing country. is, developing nations don't have as much resource as the developed nations have, and that's why we're saying developed nations who have a lot of resources should have developing nations who have little resources. Okay, thank you. So what the, uh, the affirmative team is trying to tell us is that in today's debate, everyone should win. Well, I'm not going to be that kind. I want just our team to win, and I'm going to prove you why we should win. I'll base my speech on three main points. First of all, that uh, developing countries have the power, the economic power, to uh, account for what they pollute. Second of all, that uh, it's not uh, the developed countries' responsibilities to reduce emissions in developing countries, but rather in their own countries, which they don't. And third of all, that developed countries are not supermen, and they cannot afford to, <laughs> to reduce both in developed and in developing countries uh, their emissions. So, first of all, they say that uh, we need developed countries to invest in developing countries so that th they would create this infrastructure in developing countries and that uh, they can uh, give the, the developing countries a start for them to do it on their own. But they already have these infrastructures. They already have it at a much cheaper price. For example, China produces 60% of the world, 55% uh, of the world's uh, solar panels. Uh, uh, Suntec Sun Power, based in Beijing, produces 30% of the world's, uh, of the world's uh, solar panels. And they produce it at a much cheaper price. That's why they sell so much. So basically, they sell the same bottle of water at $2 instead of $10 that the US sells. So that's why we should turn to these products and not to the US. So basically, they can account for what they are doing. And then the, uh, the affirmative team would say, OK, so China can. But what about South Africa and Brazil? South Africa and Brazil do not have such a serious issue as China and India does. China and India have these infrastructures because they have an issue. And they have invested. It's not that much of an issue in South Africa and Brazil. And even if it were that much of an issue, they would still it would still be better for them to turn to Chinese technology, which is a lot cheaper, instead of buying the technology from the US and paying them in time this sort of a tribute for them investing technology in their county. It's, it doesn't make sense to buy the same technology at five times greater price. Moreover, they tell us that um, uh, de de developing countries do not have that much of a responsibility uh, as developed countries. We never said that developing countries have to save the world from global warming, but they have to account for what they pollute. If they pollute, they're responsible for their own pollution, and no one else is responsible for their own pollution since no one else told them to pollute. And they have to account for this, uh, for, uh, this responsibility. The US has to account for the pollution they have done in history, and they are doing now in the US, and they don't do so. Because if they did, they would have reduced their emissions. But the US still has one of the highest per capita emissions. If they would have uh, had a uh, uh reducing uh, emissions as a priority, they would have started in their own country and solved the problem there, and then start solving it in the rest of the world. And uh, uh, furthermore, uh, the, the, the affirmative team had in the last argument that uh, it will improve the image of both developed and developing countries. Basically, from the point of view of developed countries, these are like CSRs. They don't solve the problem. They just make it look as if they're, they're uh, taking steps towards the problem, towards solving the problem, so people would look at them with nice eyes. But it's not actually solving the problem. Actually solving the problem would mean actually cutting emissions in their own country, which they don't. They still pollute uh, much uh, more per capita than, uh, than developing countries. Like the affirmative said, Australia uh, an Australian pollutes as much as seven Chinese people. So basically, Australia shouldn't uh, cut emissions in China, so an Australian would pollute as much as ten Chinese people. It, it sh they should invest in cutting uh, carbon dioxide emissions in their own country, so they would solve their problem in their own country. And they do not have the money to do so in both countries. And that is the last of my, uh, of my three points. Because if they did have the money, they would have already done it. If they did have the problem, we wouldn't have had the problem in the rest of the world. But they don't, because it takes a lot of money to change a carbon dioxide based products economy, uh, entirely change it to green technology. It takes a lot of money, it takes a lot of effort, and that's why it hasn't been done yet, because if, it, if they did have the power to do so, they would have done that because of the, of the benefits that uh, both the affirmative and the negative teams and the negative team have shown. So basically, uh, this is how uh, our uh, 
how the negative team sees uh, this match. We have a problem that needs solving, but we have the problem in all the world, and the problem is much bigger in developed countries. Developed countries, by investing in developing countries, are not actually solving the problem, they just look as if they are taking steps. They should account for their problem and developing countries for the problem in their own country, which they already do. The Chinese government already pays for 60% of the costs of installing a solar panel in your backyard. So the, the, the developing countries already take steps towards solving this problem. And that's why we believe that uh, your vote should go for the negative team and not for everyone today. Thank you. Why are developing nations called developing nations instead of developed nations? Because they've got rapidly going gross domestic product each year. And because they do not have any, because they do not have as much infrastructure as the developed nations, right? They don't have as, as much infrastructure per uh, total. Infrastructure taking green technology, taking all kinds of technology, taking roads, taking everything in consideration. But in green technology, they do have the infrastructure. They just lack in other, uh, in other chapters. So they do not have any, uh, say they don't, say they, so they do have less infrastructure overall, right? Yeah. And you talked about why cutting, cutting emissions is not easy, right? Yeah. Is, uh, is cutting emissions not easy when the, when the developing countries do not have any infrastructure? It's not easy, but they are already accounting for it, and they are already putting money into it, and they are already investing in it. And there's no need for developed countries who cannot manage with their own emissions to come and try to help them, because developed countries have a much greater issue in their own country than uh, the developing countries do. Did those developed nations that you just talked about have not invested in green technology? Not enough. And we can see it in the carbon dioxide emissions that they still have today. If they would have invested enough, then we wouldn't have a problem today. But uh, obviously they didn't. Is global, uh, is global climate change or carbon emissions a global problem? It is a global problem. Then isn't it better for us to reduce global carbon emissions at a better rate at a global level to, than just having developed nations? At a, global level, at a global level doesn't mean developed countries in developing countries. It means developed countries in developed countries, developing countries in developing countries. Since developing countries are not solving the problem in developed countries. So basically that would mean solving the problem in one part of the world, whereas in the rest of the world they will, will still have high carbon dioxide emissions. But it is true that those developed countries have invested on their own two green technology, right? It's, it's true that they have invested, okay. but it's also true that it's not enough, and you can see it in the effects. Okay. And they have researched and developed those green technology more than those developing nations in the status quo, right? No, actually, both uh, the developed countries and China have the technology. It's just that it's much, it's much more expensive in the developed countries. Why would that be much more expensive than because in developed countries, it's, it's much more expensive to produce a product. Because you pay more for energy, you pay more for uh, work, for, for labor, you pay more for basically anything.